Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at people who became the side chicks. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. I had just started a new job and after a few months ended up completely falling for my married boss. I knew it was wrong and tried to keep my distance but we had a bunch of business trips together which resulted in a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. Mentally, I was in a really dark place. I had a string of dates that didn't go anywhere where I felt rejected and used, gained 40 pounds and my self-esteem plummeted. Meanwhile, I had this super attractive, successful guy at work lifting me up, telling me I'm smart, beautiful, and that any guy who isn't into me is an idiot. Anytime I was with him, I would finally feel alive again and felt like we just had this magnetic chemistry. He also admitted to feeling the same way towards me. We tried not to do anything, but after a year of tension, we finally ended up hooking up. I knew he was married. I knew it was wrong. I never met the wife, but thought she must be a much better person than I was. My colleagues had met her and I knew she was beautiful, fit, and seemed really kind. I was at such a low point in my life that I would take the scraps just to be with him. I tried to end it many times, but because we literally worked together in a tiny office and I still had intense feelings for him, it would start back up. I tried dating other people to take my mind off things, but couldn't because I was so in love with him. I felt trapped and would frequently cry in the office bathroom, knowing I needed to get out somehow. Girl. Come on. You don't need anyone to make you feel alive because you need to feel alive yourself. Like it's within you. All right. I ended up breaking it off with him, resigning and taking a 70k pay cut just to get myself out of the situation as soon as possible. Then COVID hit and the new company scaled back the operations. And because I was a new employee, I was laid off. I then spent the next year in a super deep depression, but eventually managed to get myself out of it. So I honestly didn't set out to have a relationship with a married man. I just kind of fell into it over time and made a series of poor decisions. The wife ended up finding out later after I had already resigned and I know she's the main victim here. And I feel terrible that I hurt someone innocent. As you should. Seriously. No way you see a married man and you're going to be like, I'm going to go for it. Girl, you know you could have stopped yourself even if he was coming onto you. You could have stopped yourself. You could have stopped him. I have since landed back on my feet, gotten a new job, lost all the weight I gained, and I'm feeling far more confident in myself. Obviously, I stay far away from married men, and if the situation had happened now instead of at such a low point in my life, I would like to think I would make better decisions. You know what? Good on them. Good on them for making a comeback, but I don't feel bad for them. You know, this would have happened with any other woman anyways if he wanted to cheat. Do you know what I mean? So I just feel bad for the wife. Right? What a shitty husband. And this person should have known better. Now this is going to stick with you for life. You know you ruined a marriage. I mean, obviously it takes two to tangle. And he obviously ruined his own marriage too. But the both of them? I don't feel bad. I didn't know for two years. When I confronted him about making plans on Facebook to move in with another chick and accused him of having another woman. He told me that technically I was the other woman, but she was willing to let me move in with them. We broke up and he moved in with her a few months later. A year after we broke up, he called me complaining that she wasn't financially responsible and wasn't able to run a house as well as me. He asked me to move to Florida with him. I laughed at him and said he should have thought about that before telling me I was the other woman. Damn. That's crazy. Imagine finding out you're the other woman. Oh, hell no. He told me he left her. He didn't. So I chose to out him to her every chance I could get. He'd sent me letters apologizing or begging we stay together. So I'd mail them to her workplace so she could see what a loser she has. Well, he died at age 35. She got a $950,000 insurance payout. And I was left salty and bitter. Oh. Damn. That's a plot twist. She was like, if only I was a married woman so I'd get the money. I didn't do it, but someone I know did, mainly to boost her ego. She thought that since he slept with her, she was better than the main girlfriend. Girl, you're never better than a main girlfriend because if you were better than a main girlfriend, you would be the girlfriend. I chose to be a side chick when I was in the closet. I felt like no one else would love me, so this would be good enough. I didn't understand that I deserved more. It became abusive. It took me longer than it should to exit the relationship for good, but I finally did. I will never again. Being in a secret relationship puts you in a perfect position to be abused. No one to witness it. No one to share your concerns. And no one's gonna feel bad for you because you put yourself in that situation. Right? No one's gonna be on your side. That's for sure. And then you're just gonna be playing victim the whole time because you feel like you're so wronged. But you got yourself into that situation. See, this is why like, I can't feel bad for people like that. Like, I can't. I can't be like, oh, I feel so bad that she's sad that she has no one. I can't. <laughs> Seriously, if you have no one, then just have no one. You have yourself. 
<laughs> Jeez. The first step to feeling like you have the world on your side is if you love yourself. If you hate yourself, even if the world loves you, you would still not love yourself, right? It doesn't really matter how many people love you if you don't like yourself. So reckon yourself. Not no woman, but I was the side piece to a man who swore up and down that he was straight until he had a drop of alcohol that was, then he couldn't keep his hands off me, kept reassuring himself that he's doing this as a favor to me and that I must really want this. His girlfriend was a really nice girl too. We had several classes in school together and I'd occasionally walk her home. She had moved far away by the time the guy in question and I started fooling around and they were maintaining a long distance relationship. Why'd I do it? Mostly selfish indulgence. Aside from losing my virginity years before, I had never really been touched by anyone in a meaningful way. I was lonely, touch starved, and the option was right there. Of course, I was going to give in to it. In my head, I was cold and for a brief moment, there was born. I lied to myself for a time because she had made a comment about me and him kissing being so hot. So I thought she'd be okay with it. If it became a semi-regular thing, she was not. In truth, I just didn't really care what she thought and felt and cared more about myself. Selfish? Yeah, I guess. But I'm not particularly sorry about that part of it. I am more sorry about allowing myself to be used for a bloody bit of skin contact. Anyway, after a while things stopped, they split up. Our lives went on, and as far as I know, none of us even think about the other. And that's that. And that just showed their personality. Selfish? Yeah, but I don't care. I don't care about her. I only care about myself. Oh, <laughs> Okay, damn. I was 19, he was 39 and my manager. Now that I grow up and I see things from an outside perspective, I feel completely disgusted about the whole situation and I feel really bad for her because she never knew and I believe they got married in the end. I'm sorry, but like you really should have told her. I mean like you could have saved her from him. What the hell is going on? If this person really did feel bad, they could have at least done something about it than to keep it a secret. And obviously that guy's a trashy person. He's 39 preying on a 19 year old. Uh, like the power dynamics too. He's her manager. Oh my gosh. I had a friend that cheated on all her partners or dated other friends' partners. She was extremely attractive and seductive. She knew exactly how to get a man. The day she told me she slept with her mutual friend's boyfriend, I knew I couldn't trust her. Our friendship fizzled out months later. So she needs that ego boost, right? She needs to know that every man wants me kind of thing. Dude, those kind of people, I think they kind of hate themselves, right? Because they need that validation from other people. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel bad for those kind of people. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.